Welcome back to Snowboarding Days, my name is Fraser and today we're going to take a look at the Nidecker Supermatic Snowboard Binding. So if you haven't heard about the Supermatic Binding, it's essentially Nidecker's answer to the Burton Step-Ins. The main differences straight off the bat are that you're not going to need Burton's proprietary boots. You can use pretty much any boot, any brand should be good with the Supermatic. So first impressions. The binding feels and looks really nice. It's got traditional toe straps, traditional ankle straps, and traditional high backs. This immediately sets it apart from the step-ons, which look and feel a little bit more futuristic and a little bit less familiar. And the beauty of this is that once you've found that perfect fit, you never need to change the adjusting uh, adjustments again, so long as you use the rear entry step-in system. But I'll talk about that later on. They've got a pretty sturdy build construction, which a couple of people have been concerned makes them too heavy. But actually, we weighed them against our Rome Katana and Burton Cartel, and they're only about 100 grams heavier, which when you're out on the slopes, you're not gonna notice. The next thing I noticed is that Nidecker have given a healthy amount of canting to the footbeds. And if you don't know what that means, that basically means there's a little bit more foam on the outside and a little bit less on the inside. And what this does is it aligns your ankle and aligns your knees to a more healthy position, which uh, is a bit more forgiving and for people with creaky knees like me is a must. To step in, you essentially put your foot inside the binding, trigger the lever, which is on the back of the binding on both sides, and that should clip you in securely. When it comes to time to get yourself out of the binding, there's a lever on the inside on both sides that you can pretty easily click and remove your boot from. That's how easy it should be, but doesn't always work like that in practice. What you will find is that with a bit of snow buildup or in powder, you do run the risk of that lever becoming harder to snap into place. Is it a big deal? Not really. But and step-ins have the same issue. Just get used to kicking a bit of snow away before you try and step in. In terms of setting these up, they're compatible with pretty much every board out there they can do the Burton channel or traditional mounting patterns. One of the things I was worried about when I first looked at them was the heel lever, which is how the step-in system works. I thought uh, it could potentially cause um, a bit of discomfort, particularly as it can move when it's not strapped in. When we rode them, honestly, this wasn't a problem. Uh, and when they're clipped in, they are completely flush with the rest of the footbed. The high back's pretty sturdy with a good amount of torsional flex, and I'd say response wise, it's probably a six or seven out of 10. There is of course a forward lean adjuster and you can adjust it to a decent degree. The heel cups are really sturdy and they have this funny spinny thing, which I don't have a name for, which I assume is to help your foot slide right into the pocket when you're stepping in. So how does the step in system work? Basically, they open all the way up like this. And when you are going to step in, you simply put your foot through, down, and crank the uh, lever. Obviously, looks a lot better when you're doing it with your feet, but you get the idea. Once this is cracked down, the high back is nice and sturdy, and to release it, you're gonna press the lever on the side, and that will lift everything out again, like so. What did feel disconcerting at first is when the lever is uh, released, these come all the way over like that, and I did wonder whether they were drag in the snow. When you're skating, they do drag a little bit, uh, but certainly they're sturdy enough that it doesn't seem to have caused any damage, and I certainly didn't notice it once I was riding. In terms of how well the stepping system works, it is a little bit more fiddly when you first start using it than the Burton system, mainly because the ankle strap can get in the way. But honestly, once you get used to it, you can do it on the move, I managed to strap in and out uh, whilst getting in and off the chairlift, no problem. Let's talk a bit about the pros and the cons. The pros of the Nidecker Supermatic are that it feels and looks like a normal binding. What this means is that if you do get in a hairy situation where stepping in isn't practical, so if you're on a steep uh, out of bounds pitch and it's hard to get your foot to click uh, perfectly in, particularly if there's a lot of powder, then what you can do is just open them up like a normal binding and put your foot in. This is better than the Burton Step-On 
because of the button step on has been known to pack with powder and then become nigh impossible to get your foot in. So this really was a pro for these guys. The second thing was that these were really comfortable. Unlike the button step on, they feel like the bindings that we all know and love. So there was no adjustment period. Once I was in, I was in, forgot about them and enjoyed the ride. Another pro was that they were nice and responsive, pretty much your middle of the road all mountain binding, which made them really nice for park, powder, free ride, and you name it. So on the cons side, first off, they can be a little fiddly to snap in. So even when you practice a little bit, if you find yourself on a particularly steep pitch, it can be hard to get your heel flat enough for it to comfortably snap in. As I said previously, you can go ahead and undo the buckles, but obviously that's not why you bought these bindings, so it can be a bit of a pain. The second thing is I would say they are a little bit too stiff for a complete beginner, who'd probably be better off winding it back and starting with a cheaper uh, traditional strapping binding and then graduating to these when they feel ready. The third one which I've seen banded around is that they're a bit on the heavy side. Honestly, I didn't really notice. They still had great board feel and I wouldn't not buy them based purely on the weight. So, are they better than the Burton Step-On? They are better than the Burton Step-Ons for me personally because once you've set up, once you're strapped in, they feel and ride like a high-end traditional binding. The Step-Ons on the other hand had a bit of a funny adjustment period where I had to get used to riding with no straps. They were responsive, the Step-Ons, uh, however, I didn't get that reliable feedback that you get from your ankle straps, that you get from your toe straps, and that's what the Supermatic give you. They also offer that slight advantage that if you do have any problems at all with the stepping mechanism, then you can revert back to the traditional binding and you're good to go. In terms of price, these days the pricing can be a bit similar, so the Burton Step-Ons and the Supermatics come in at around $400 for the entry level. However, you've got to remember with these that you don't need to buy a new pair of boots. So, do I recommend that you check out the Nidecker Supermatic? Yes. Obviously, if you've listened to the me drawing on for the last 5-10 minutes, then the obvious benefits are clear. You can cut down your time getting off the chairlift, you can keep up with your skier friends, and you don't have to faff around with binding straps. There's a third option on the market which I'm seeing a lot of on social media which is clue bindings. We haven't tried them yet and these are the type of bindings where your high back effectively stays on your boot when you clip in and out. We'll try those over the next month and I'll update this in the comments section. So overall I can highly recommend picking up a pair of the Nylic bindings. If you are going to go ahead and pick them up I would recommend buying them from either Nydeca or from Evo, and I'll put a link in the comments below. But before you go, I need to ask a quick favor. This is our first time editing and putting out a review on the channel, and if you found it helpful, it would help us immensely if you liked, commented, and subscribed. If you didn't find it helpful, let us know why in the comments below, and we'll try to do better. Have a great season.